Hey guys, Coach Brady here. I want to talk a, a few, few hitting drills we can do. We'll go over three drills, the first one being a beginner drill, second one kind of medium, and third an advanced drill. Kids who are a little bit more advanced. All right. So the first drill we want to go over is hands on the hips right here with no bat. I'm just in my stance right here. My hands are on my hips. My butt is out. Knees are bent. My chest is over my toes. Posture is everything in hitting. Okay? If we start with a bad posture, we're, we'll, it's super hard to get into a good one. And we want to be in a good posture the entire time. We want to start in a good one, and we want to end in a good one. Okay? So the first drill, hands on the hips. I'm going to stride. Okay? I'm still in an athletic position. Knees are bent, butts out, chest over, over my toes. I'm going to turn using my legs, and then I'm going to finish my swing. Okay? I'll go over that again. I'm here. I stride. Make sure I'm in a good position, good posture. Turn, turn my hips, get that back heel up, knee tucked in underneath me. I'm here. And I finish my swing. We want to be able to hold this. If I can hold this position, that means I'm balanced. If I start falling over, that means I'm not in a good position. Either we need to widen out a little bit or just get more into our legs. The next drill, okay, we're going to go over is a stride and pause drill. I do this every day. I did this every day when I played. I do this with my lessons every single time. We'll take a couple warm-up swings and then we'll go directly into this drill. Just like I was saying earlier, posture is everything, okay? So, if I stride and I'm already off balance, I'm never gonna be balanced when I swing, okay? So, this drill is a launch position drill. I'll be in my stance, good posture, take my stride, and I'm gonna pause here. Nice and bent. We wanna be even, a little bit more weight can be on the back foot, but we don't wanna be too back here, and we don't already wanna be on this front foot, okay? We wanna actually load this hip up back here so that we can stay back here, we can ride our back hip throughout the swing. So I'll go over that again, I'm here, stride and pause, and then from here, I'm gonna take a swing. What's super important with this drill is to not have to restride, reload my hands. I want to get into my launch position right here, and I want to go directly to this baseball. If I have to re reload or anything like that, that tells me my launch position doesn't feel strong. Right? I don't feel like I can actually swing from that position. But that's what happens in games. As soon as my front foot comes down, I have to swing from this position. So if I get here and pause and I feel like I'm uncomfortable, I'm not in a good launch position, okay? So what's super important, just like I was saying, good posture, my butt's still out, my knees are bent, my chest is over my toes, my hands are back, and then from here, straight through the baseball. The next drill, a little bit more advanced drill we're gonna do today. is a Bellinger drill. Just like I was saying earlier, when we get onto this front foot, we're off balance, okay? And this Bellinger drill really helps us get into this lower half back here, get into my hips, get into this back leg, and I wanna be able to ride it throughout my swing. I don't wanna slowly come forward, I don't wanna leak forward, okay? One thing I'll say is the lower half in young hitters is extremely important Right? A lot of young hitters don't know how to properly use their, their legs, which more than half of our power comes from our legs when we swing. So why would we not want to use it to, to its full ability? Right? A, a lot of the stuff I see in young hitters is we get here and either we don't use our legs at all, all upper body, or we drift onto this front foot. We think we're using our legs, but really we're just pushing off we're coming directly out, up and out of our back leg. What we really want to do is sit back here, make my turn back here, get this knee underneath me, the back heel up, and then I want to swing from there. Right? When we don't use our legs, it cuts off our swing. So we're in the zone, and maybe we'll make contact, but we're directly out of the zone before. Or we'll be a little early on a ball, 
and we're pulling the bat out of the zone before we even make contact. So using my lower half back here and properly allows me to get my barrel into the zone and excuse me, stay through the zone for as long as possible. All right, so Bellinger drill. What I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna be somewhat narrow. I'm gonna step back, really load up this back hip, and then I'm gonna go forward from there. So I'm here, I'm gonna step back, load this back hip up, stride and swing. Try to keep this weight back on this back half. All right, thank you guys.